so I'm in the middle of making a game for Unity um, and I've got lots of questions in CSV format uh, these are biology questions I'm trying to create a game where it randomly gives you a question and then you get three answers, a correct answer and two incorrect answers and then you have to select whether it's right or wrong and you just get a point if it's right and you get an incorrect point if it's wrong so I want people to be able to revise super quick um, but what this video is about really is the CSV and how I read that into Unity um, I found a really quick way to do it using an asset in the store so I thought I'd record a video on how I did that because it would be useful to me in the future <laughs> when I forget um, but it also might be useful for other people so the first thing I did is I took my uh, CSV file uh, I made sure it was CSV, if you're in Excel it might be Excel LX or whatever it is uh, so I just filed save as uh, CSV um, this is what it looks like not in Excel uh, it's just a regular CSV file uh, and then this is my game which I've already imported my CSV file uh, and played with a way of reading that into my game but I'll just do it again um, just to go through it quickly so this is my CSV file uh, I dragged that into Unity so I've already got my questions there uh, but I'm gonna call this questions 2 or something now uh, I can't do that because Excel's open, let's close Excel okay let's try again so I've got a CSV file called questions 2 I'll drag that into my assets uh, so I've got a resources directory in assets and CSV and I've just copied it into there uh, and then the next thing I did was I downloaded an asset that helps you turn your CSV into a table so the asset is called CSV to table so if you go to window and uh, asset store it'll load this window here and then you just search for CSV2 table to get this page that I'm already on uh, and then there should be a download button here you might have to log in first I'm already logged in uh, oh there we go for some reason it's refreshed now this isn't download for me because I've already downloaded it I've just got import but you'll have to click download and then once it's downloaded click import uh, and it says nothing to import because I've already done it but you want to just make sure everything's ticked and then press OK so just ignore kind of what's going on in my game at the moment because I've got lots of going on uh, but you should have this new table here uh, this new directory here called CSV2 table as well as all the other stuff that you've got in your game so I've got a couple of scenes and assets already in here so if you go into CSV2 table uh, and into demo and then the demo scene I'll save my current scene this is what you get so this is a scene that has been imported from this asset that we just uh, imported into the game and so once you put your CSV in there it will create uh, a class for you in here which can be used to manipulate your CSV and I've not played with the class much that it generates but it seems quite straightforward so if you press play on this scene uh, this is a demo CSV uh, this, which is here and it's well cars basically looking at that um, so we don't want the demo CSV in there, we want our own. So if you click this canvas object in the hierarchy, you'll see in the inspector you can change the CSV here where it says sample. So I put mine resources, so biology questions two, that's the one. So I'm going to drag that over 
and then press play and now you can see this is the CSV which I had before in here let's just uh, get rid of that so if you click generate it will create the code for you to create a class that can uh, manipulate this CSV quite easily so while this is still playing I'm going to open the, the canvas in the hierarchy and panel I'm going to the right panel uh, and then look at the where is it now top text there it is no it's in so <laughs> in canvas panel right bot text you can copy this code which is the code that's here and then you'll use this to create a class which will then be able to make play the CSV uh, you don't need this scene anymore but I wouldn't recommend deleting the asset because uh, it, if you look back in the asset directory there's some scripts and these scripts will be used in the the class we're going to create now so you want to create uh, this class to manipulate your CSV so create a script where wherever you create your new scripts so I've got a folder called scripts C sharp um, oh yes it's a C sharp script it's not a um, JavaScript script and then you want to call it uh, whatever you want so I'll call it questions I've got one here called question table which is when I did it earlier uh, then you can double click that to edit it in whatever editor you like to use uh, so I like to use Visual Studio but you might be using what's the one called that comes with it uh, mono develop so if you remember I copied the text that appeared here uh, and now I'm just going to delete that and paste in all the code and you'll notice that it doesn't like some stuff so it doesn't like some stuff because there is already a sample table in one of the scripts a uh, sample table class in one of the scripts that you've imported so you can't call it that so call it question table or uh, I'll just call it CSV table because I've already got a question table um, you might want to call your script by the same name I guess <coughs> and then what you also need to do what's missing here uh, if you look at other scripts that have been created by unity they normal, normally extend this model develop class so you just want to copy that uh, well or just write that in so where it says public class name of your class make sure it extends model develop um, I'm quite new to unity I think that's the right I think that's the right word extends uh, no it derives from that um so um then there are a few more things I think it suggests that you do. Now there isn't much documentation with the CSV2 table, but some very nice person has put in the comments what to do. So <laughs> the first thing that they say to do is oh yeah, add monoscript after the script name, which is what we've done. Uh and then let's just put this side by side with my code uh, and then it this very helpful chap says add here at the just under the name of your class add um, public text asset file and what this will do this will let you uh, select a text file which is going to be the CSV that we've created um, and then he recommends a start function which then loads the file so that's fine uh, we want to put that under here 
so you just this is like your void void start this is just like it has to be capitalized doesn't it just like when you create a c-sharp script and it gives you that uh, start uh, method um, empty at Kind of if you create a new C star C sharp script, you always get this, don't you? Start start up and uh, is it start up? Start and update. That's right. So you just want void start uh, Lemon here load file load and then in brackets file and then I've made a mistake there because I'm loading the file down here with a small f but up here it's got a capital F so I'll go back and change that to a small f save that uh, and so just to recap on what we've done we went into the demo scene uh, and then when we loaded the demo scene we put so this was the demo scene we put our CSV in in here. We press play, press generate, copied the code, copied the code into a script that's in my uh, assets, and then I just added mono develop here. Uh, so it derives from mono develop. Uh, you have to put colon mono develop, and then added this uh, text file, public text asset file, and then this start method, which just loads the file. And then when you go into your scene where you want to manipulate the CSV, not this scene, um, so where's mine? You'll, everybody will have their own. Mine is called No Full Game. I created an empty game object and called it CSV. So it already exists because I've done it previously. And then I just moved, uh, attached the script that I created so questions to CSV I won't uh, oh yes you can't find questions so this is because the script the the class has to have the same name as the the file I think doesn't it so public class questions yeah so that was a mistake that I made so I've saved that and now that should attach to there yep um, so I've got two because I've done it twice so I actually don't want that on that first one on there so I'll just deactivate it for now <clears throat> and so now when you press play uh, there's lots of mini this is a different game just ignore this but <laughs> there's lots of stuff going on uh, within the CSV um, game object it's basically loading the CSV into list now you want to manipulate that somehow in your game so I've not played with this much uh, but what I have done if I look at the question table script which I did before uh, is if you look down here there's a bunch of find question find explanation so a bunch of things that you can do uh, so here we go for example if you wanted to let's have a look at the CSV actually if I wanted to load question 18 at uh, the question with ID 18 I could uh, I'll put that's wrong. I'd use find. Uh, what's it called? Find underscore a ID. It also be different because I've got an ID field. Um, and then it expects a string in there. So free. But it, spe it, it expects a string. So this um, asset that I've gone and got from the store even though that to me that's uh, an integer it just treats everything as a string so that's why I've put these in quotes here 
So find ID three will return uh, that row. I think if I look at what I did previously, yeah. So it will turn that return that row, uh, and you can say I want the question from that row. So I want yeah this question. It's dot question. So oh it auto fills it for you. So I could get the question or the ID. Uh, so there we go. So this isn't actually doing anything though. So perhaps I just want to log that to debug dot log. Put it in brackets. So if I run this now, um, if I run this game, this script questions dot cs uh, was generated by that little asset that I made uh, that I downloaded, uh, and then I've added this start function that's going to load the file and then it's going to find the row with ID three and give me the question. You also be different. Uh, so the th at the top row of your CSV will be used by the asset to determine all the different you know all the different columns so it knows that these are all questions in this column uh, and then if I press play it should uh, in my console oh no so it's not working because Back on CSV where I attach the question, I've got to move the file over to th this file bit here. I've got to drag that over. So CSV, Biology Questions 2. Now if I press play, the console outputs question 3, which is living things can be ranked by, can be ranked which of the following? That should be by which of the following. Um, question 3, living things can be ranked which of the following and uh, just ignore the surprise kid this is a previous thing I was playing with um, so that's it and this will probably be useful for me <laughs> in a week when I've forgotten how to do it